Hello my dear viewers, welcome to this reading. This reading is for the week of April 13 to the 20th, 2024, and it's for every water energy. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. It's all for you, my dear. Um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. All about you, your love life. Everything about your love life, your relationships, your person, where you're at, what's happening, what are you facing, what's coming, what to do. Everything you need to know and more. The more that I talk about is, my dear um, Cancer Scorpio Pisces, you've got six cards here. These six cards are messages for all of you, for each and every one of you. But you can personalize it and get some information. And the way I usually do this, even for myself, when I want to know specific things, uh, personal, what I do is I ask a question and I nominate. Like I choose this one and that one, or I choose this and that, or I choose these two, or I choose this one and that one and that one. To get an answer, to get timing, to understand what's going on, just information. So that's available for you. Think about it. Think about what you would like to ask, what you would like to know, information, and that is there for you. Although everyone, every part of this message is for all of you, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, but still this way without seeing it, you can make it personal and get some info. So as soon as I come ready to turn them over, I will let you know so you can put me on pause if you're not ready and then unpause it to get your answers. Now, let us begin to see the messages for you today. And we have playfulness. So there's a lot of fun going on between you and your person. If you're not, you're healing and you're doing that. You're playing, you're having fun. You're, there's a lot of playfulness with someone, really enjoying it. I feel like beginning of healing, beginning of transformations and a lot of fun, a lot of playfulness, a lot of happiness. So that's beautiful. Let's have a look at the butterfly, see if it has anything special to tell us. For you all, my dear Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. And we've got miracle healings. Wow. Miraculous healings are going to take place. You are going to be shocked. This is going to be something that will shock you because it's it's like a miracle. It's not, it's something you never expected. So it will shock you. But it's going to heal you at the same time. Both of these cards are about healing, happiness, playfulness, and enjoyment. How amazing. Now, before I start the tarot, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through each and every one of these messages. So if you're not ready, this is the time you put me on pause, ask a question, contemplate about something, and then you might get some sort of specific answer. That's directly and just for you, personalized just for you. I'm taking it up just a little bit. Here we go. Okay, starting with the first one, we have an impasse. Something has, has gone out of your hands. It's out of your hands. There's nothing more you can do. You've done your best, but it's like something is controlling a situation and, and it's not you anymore. So it's reached an impasse. Wow, what a contradiction. Now there's something else saying, yeah, there's an agreement. There could be a pact or there could be a situation about trust. Yeah, this is about agreements. This is also about trust. Trust matters. Maybe it's because of trust matters. It's reached an impasse. There's no more trust in a situation or relationship. Maybe some of you want a commitment, contract, like a partnership, like something continuing on, like a promise, like marriage and more. There is closure and there is a bond. So you know what? This shows to me that there could be some of you that might be meeting someone that you could, you know, uh, straight away get what you want out of them. Maybe a, a contract, uh, some sort of agreement, some sort of commitment that's going to be so spectacular. And for others, you are wanting that and the other party might not be in that uh, level or maybe they're not ready yet. So what I'm seeing here is freedom. Somebody wants their freedom connected to the letter A for Antarctica. 25 relationships, changes, Chinese year of the ox, Chinese year of the dragon this year, Chinese year of the horse, they want their freedom and you want your freedom. But ultimately, there are partnerships, agreements and a matter of trust. So that's that one. And timing, we've got three to four weeks, just in case you want to know something big happening in May also in regard to the rings. OK, then we've got mission. Hmm. It says, I am beginning to focus on my mission and our connection is part of that mission. So that's beautiful. We've got number one, a new beginning perhaps of someone wonderful, Chinese year of the rat, somebody that has in them Capricorn or Aquarius. You could be standing fresh with someone that's Capricorn or, or Aquarius. Okay, interesting. Can't take the glasses off. Let's do this one now. Hmm. The Chinese year of the dragon. But trickery. 
trickery. Trickery is going to be talked about and trust. So maybe somebody doesn't want to trick you. They want to be honest with you and they want you to trust them because they're being honest. Some of you might be dealing with someone that's a trickster that's, you know, um, manipulating situations and tricking you. There could be something that is sort of like uh, false here. Something false. Somebody wants to take something from you, maybe. That's another possibility. Mm. Now, this one here. We've got number five. Number five is connected to people born on, number, uh, on the fifth day. We've got a five here also. Chinese year of the dragon. It is also about May. May is going to impact you on a grand scale. There could be a Taurus coming in your life or someone, Gemini. Gemini also, if you have Gemini in you. Um, okay, so... We're talking either May or five weeks from now, which is going to be May anyway. It says, my ego is fragile to criticism and rejection. I've created walls to protect myself. So there is something that's not quite right. Not very happy. Five could be the Chinese year of the dragon. Five is also a lot of changes taking place. And it could be five weeks from today. Now, the next one we have, we have the church. Hmm, some of you are really maybe proposing and, you know, preparing a wedding. That is a possibility with both of these for some. Okay, this could be specific just for some. Now, the church is all about principle, you know. Um, it is also about marriage. It is about family values. It is about um, structure, what you believe, your belief system. It is also about consciousness and tradition and programming the way we are programmed it might be playing um, a role like with your principles and what you believe in uh, family values there's situations that are not allowing you perhaps to overcome a major obstacle chinese year of the tiger chinese year of the snake healing chinese year of the monkey i feel like there is a situation where it needs your attention it needs you to be able to um overcome a challenge and heal from it i also believe that there could be something big happening around your birthday um sorry uh, we're not doing that no I, because i kept on seeing a uh, cancer gemini maybe uh, something happening around june so cancer could be involved in this or gemini also uh, and i feel like there is something to do with values like questioning something there's something to do with trust i feel like trust and values and and, you know, wanting more perhaps and wanting the real deal, that kind of a situation. So what I'm going to do now, um, I'll just move these over here a little bit, over here for now. Now, my dear viewers and my dear Cancer Scorpio Pisces, a card just fell. Oh, not a very good card. The five, the five of pentacles that shows somebody's being left in the cold, leaving a situation. So I'll just put this one right here. This could be regarding the impasse, you know, you see, leaving because it's, Something is, you know, getting out of hands. Let's have a look, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. For the time nominated, there is some news coming. Some truth is bringing you um, an understanding, knowing, understanding, seeing the truth and taking action, being able to go, leave maybe. Wow, not very nice. Yeah, leaving, leaving a situation, feeling very unhappy, very sad, not quite happy with what's happening here. And then one final one. It's been a very hectic maybe situation. You're suffocating. You can't handle it anymore. It's just been too much now. And you're finally letting go. You're finally leaving and letting go. And you are going to take an advantage of a situation a bit later on. Maybe somebody new might come in your life. But we'll, we'll leave that because that's for later on. We're going to do more next week. We'll see you next week what they'll say. Okay. Let's have a look at three more important messages. Wow. We have the Empress. The Emperor is always connected to Pisces. There's a lot of nurturing here. Um, somebody born maybe in March, like Pisces or Aries. They might have Pisces, Aries in them. The Empress is also about nurturing power and abundance coming in your life. You will be abundant. So whatever is happening, abundance from every area of your life, you'll be taken care of. Seven of Cups, you've got choices. And you know you've got choices. But one opportunity, you're going to meet someone wonderful, is coming. Someone incredible. So prepare for that. And we've got temperance, just a little bit of patience and you'll have stability. You'll have everything you want. If you wanted marriage, if you wanted a long-term endurance like marriage, future, you'll have it all. Just a little bit of patience. That's what they're saying. How amazing. Okay. 
So that's that one. And there's the Ace of Cups. You're falling in love. Big time love is coming. Emotional fulfillment in every area. Coming your way. So now that we know this, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take out four to five star signs to see what unites uh, between you, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, as in people that you're dealing with, people that are coming in your life. Let's see what star signs we're we talking about. Water energies, all the water energies, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, like yourself. Then we've got Aquarius. That's the um, air that I was talking about, Aquarius. It was Aquarius or Gemini or Libra. So we've got Aquarius, air energy. What unites you, what you're dealing with, who you're obsessed with and dealing with and working with, leaving behind, starting with, all of that. All of that. We've got Gemini that I was talking about, also the air energy, Gemini here big time. What else we have? The truth. The cancer spot, your Pisces. I have a feeling. Okay, we've got air energy. So we've got double air energy. This is air. We've got Gemini, Aquarius, now or even Libra is involved because air came on. Aquarius, every, if we just had left with these, it would be an Aquarius and Gemini. Now we've got this. It shows uh, some of you are dealing with Libra. And then I'll just do one more. And what energy is everybody? So Cancer could be with Scorpio. Um, uh, Pisces could be with Cancer or Scorpio. So that's what we're talking about here. And there is Earth energy. I knew an Earth energy is going to come in the arena of your life because you're destined for happiness. And Capricorn came. So Saturn is the ruler of Capricorn. Now, this could be what's coming. At this point in time, it looks like that, that, that there is water and air energies here. So Gemini, um, Libra, Aquarius, and someone that has water in them perhaps, and there is a major battle going on. Why I say it's a battle? Because I feel like somebody's leaving, they're not happy, they're suffocating, there's wars, there's problems. Let's have a look at more before I start clarifying the cards. Let's see what's going on. Three messages for Cancer, Scorpio, Love Life, Cancer, uh, and Pisces. Oh, wow. How amazing. I got the three without shuffling one by one. That was very nice. Okay, so some of you could be thinking about children, future, pets. It says your love life is being affected by children. Maybe some of you, your time clock is clicking and you want a future where your partner's not ready. They want their freedom and they don't want to settle. That could be one of the ma major problem here. And, and you're arguing about this. So children is number one here then okay religion isn't that amazing we got the church and we got religion some of you have religious issues why it says your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path so it shows to me that there could be some sort of a problem with your belief system both of your belief system not uniting or you might be you know don't forget this goes all over the world so there might be cultures where you know this religion doesn't allow to marry into that religion and there is a battle and that's why we've got the ring here yes but there is a battle uh, about religious factors and the religious factors are causing conflict. They're causing problems. They're causing um, disharmony and not knowing, you know, where you stand. This is really, really deep, really deep. And for some of you, uh, it can be religious uh, children. You know, your time clip, uh, cl your time click clocking, <laughs> your time clock clicking. And you want more than just, you know, romance. You want more. You want more than just love or that future. You want future. And someone else doesn't. So that's that one. Ultimately, it says still make an effort. Because you know what? Make an effort in what you're doing in your relationship. It says great love is worth taking the steps you are guided to take. So if you're in the wrong with the wrong person, I, I feel like somebody great might come along. And they'll be worth for you to take, to make the effort. I really truly believe that there is going to be someone that is going to be on the same mission as you, wanting the same things, and they're coming. And I do feel very strong that this person is an Earth energy and Capricorn being number one, and then Virgo and then Taurus, okay? But we'll find out more. That's what we've got here. Make the effort. Okay, interesting. Let's see what the message is for you, my dear Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. The message for... Okay, so we've got one. Maybe I'll take one more. Oh, yes. I had a feeling there'll be one more. Mm, amazing. Okay. So it says, you may, you may not always understand why certain things happen. However, there's always a higher purpose to the events in your life. Through turmoil, a blessing will soon be revealed. Now, this could mean, like I was saying, a relationship that's no longer working. There's issues, right? Uh, there's problems. And then 
all of a sudden you might end up leaving each other right you might end up being unhappy leaving each other and feeling really sad because this is coming to an end and you're thinking why but we you know we cared about each other we did so much we were so connected what made this happen why can't we be more happy together why is not working maybe because you are destined for someone new someone amazing someone that can give you that which you need someone who wants everything you want future endurance long-term marriage children the whole works so sometimes things happen for a reason and others those of you who are not perhaps there might be water energies in relationship with others that are not happy they don't want to settle they don't want the family the children they want to be free and they want to they might have just come out of a marriage and they just want to have their freedom they don't want to settle and go into another marriage straight away they want to flirt and go out and enjoy and have playfulness and fun and all that so playfulness fun when you just come out of a marriage you just don't want to settle for another you know um for another connection that is sort of like again years of marriage so not everybody is on the same wavelength not everybody is on the level same level and sometimes when you're not on the same level and you don't want the same things that's when problems begin and you try to change each other but it doesn't work when probably the sex is fantastic and the love is amazing and the, the chemistry the attraction is there you try to fight and try to change that person but you can't it's very hard but remember the great news that you have in this message today it says you don't understand sometimes why certain things happen if there is turmoil in your life there's a higher purpose for it and you will see through this turmoil a blessing is going to come out it's going to reveal itself for you and you are going to be really enjoying the blessing that comes because it might give you exactly what you need okay so that is okay then that we've got balance it says love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it a relationship is always bound by all its matters like both supporting each other challenges everything you've got to take the good with the bad so a great relationship can be perfect there's never perfection but you know what makes it perfect when you overcome all um battles and ultimately you succeed in uniting and working well together so sometimes it's just impossible that's when you reach an impasse when the truth doesn't help when you are on two different levels let's clarify this uh, now the cards and see what's going on first we're going to start with the five of I'll, I'll start with the five of pentacles and see who's leaving and why so it shows that wow money hmm. now it says there it could be an inheritance now this could be also about loss of money somebody losing money sometimes but this is uh, we make this uh, this is a love reading so we can also see it as illness or as leaving leaving in the cold somebody is getting uh, a grand amount of money and maybe they want to buy a car for example let's say you're planning to marry someone or you just had a baby with someone and um, they just decided they want their freedom they want to buy a really expensive car and you'll think no and there might be conflict about that you know wanting to save for a home for family and this person wants to have a car so there could be something like that but there is a grand amount of money coming and this money could be causing the biggest rift between you like the biggest split between you and this person because it will reveal that this person is not thinking about future family children they're thinking about money and buying a car to impress other people so there could be something like that where you're feeling like you reached an impasse now your wishes are going to come true one of the wish cards here so wishes are going to come true but let's go further and see why the impasse and why leaving and why very unhappy let's have a look a big rise in the money making people make decisions so and we've got abundance here also in every area so the the nurturing empress what it does it gives in every area so it provides for you uh, in your love life it'll give you amazing love life it'll bring someone wonderful in your life it'll give you great opportunity of love seven of cups someone wonderful coming and it gives you money also so let's have a look now at the four of cups the four of cups shows somebody wonderful is coming and guess what earth energy that's what i was talking about capricorn a new love is coming someone wonderful saturn is the ruler of capricorn prepare yourself for someone earth energy that you will thrive with someone wonderful someone you're you're going to be very much connected with and the greatest love of all coming your way so that is incredible that is that explains the saturn 
which is the ruler of Capricorn. Capricorn being Earth energy, like this one. Earth energies are also Virgo and Taurus, by the way. That could be a Virgo or Taurus. But we've got Saturn out, so I'm talking about Capricorn. But it doesn't necessarily have to be Capricorn. So this sadness is going to be di disappearing as soon as this person enters your life. Because you're destined for happiness. You're destined to be with the one. Love, the greatest gift of all, coming your way. And destiny. And look at this. This is amazing. Destiny and the empress. This is the empress. Same card. So what you don't see coming is that this empress is entering your life. And this energy, this incredible energy is going to give you bring on your destiny something is destined for you and i feel like what's destined for you is this amazing person this is the destiny i feel like the empress is uh, going to provide you with how can i put this in a way so you can understand it there we go again here destiny someone wonderful coming into your life someone of earth energy virgo taurus capricorn capricorn for the majority how amazing is that a little bit of patience and that's going to happen just be a little bit patient that's all you've got to do now let's move on to the next one let's see the choices you have the seven of cups for cancer scorpio pisces there is someone coming and there is a virgo this is the card of virgo so in the midst of your questioning life's path why this happened to me what happens next what's the truth there's news coming there's something wonderful happening you are conquering a major major battle and you are becoming victorious so um, suffocation ends, you become vic victorious. July is impacting you on a grand scale. Uh, someone that might be Virgo, this, this person could be Virgo coming into your life, someone who is um, under the sign of Virgo, which you will go great together. Earth gives you endurance and it gives you future and you can thrive together. It gives you your dream wishes, whether it's children, family, marriage, whatever you want, you will get when you are with an earth energy, especially if you're water, if you're a Cancer Scorpio Pisces, not, not everybody. So there you go. So um, you could be leaving somebody of water energy or somebody water with earth is coming. But I see earth very strong here and I feel like you are going to be, oh, sorry, this was part of this. What am I doing? Okay, just bear with me. This was over here. Mm -hmm. So, yes, that's what's happening here. Now, let's move forward to a great victory awaits you. That's what I'm trying to say. And for some of you, there is a journey also. Let's have a look at this ending and see what this ending is all about. This chapter, Ten of Wands, ending. It was suffocating you. Too much control, too many decisions, too many problems, too much jealousy, too much excessiveness. Everything was just too much. So it's ending. A decision is being made and it's coming to an absolute ending. Now, in the midst of this ending, right after this ending, you could be meeting your soulmate, and your soulmate could be that earth energy we talked about, um, Aquarius, uh, sorry, uh, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Capricorn being number one. Let's have a look at this news that's coming, the Knight of Swords. What is that all about, the Knight of Swords? For all Cancerians and all Scorpios and all Pisceans, wow, power. It's going to give you strength and power to move forward, to be able to do what you want. And there's that earth energy again, someone wonderful, caring, considerate. And you are becoming free. This person is freeing you. This person is, again, earth energy, earth. And this could be the Virgo or Capricorn that we were talking about. This is the Virgo card. Um, while you are sad and thinking, overcoming obstacles and conquering co obstacles, becoming a conqueror, conquering obstacles and becoming victorious all that is happening and then the opportunity of feeling again loving again wanting again is coming with an earth energy this time again earth energy virgo taurus capricorn saturn being the rule of capricorn so there you go that is incredible so you are going to be leaving ultimately look at this leaving and and you've been procrastinating and and deep inside you know there's so much conflict like it's all here the truth is all here and it is with water energy you're fighting with the water energy i can see some water fighting with water they're not happy you're leaving sadly you're leaving it shows that you're going to go in search of the truth is going to let you go release you and you were supposed to leave you know that you had to leave but it was very hard you were procrastinating because you had no other choices but to leave. It's going to reach to that. And it's an impasse. It's a dead end. The truth is letting you know this person is going to be very honest and tell you the truth. Or you might discover something that shows you the truth. Ultimately, it's destined to fall apart because you're on two different paths, two different um, situations and conflict and fighting and conflict. And there could be a water energy 
also. There could be a water energy coming in your life with earth. There could be a situation with water energy leaving a water energy. But there is a conflict and that's why you're not agreeing. That's why perhaps you're leaving. The conflict is uh, leading to an ending. And that's why you're leaving. Sadly, unhappy leaving. Yes, I see. Okay. My dear viewers, remember, every re everything has its reason. Everything but everything. And I feel like soon, through turmoil, um, an amazing blessing will come. And the blessing could be taking you to the next level where you will be in the arms of someone wonderful, of earth energy, someone spectacular. Remember that. So earth energy, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, and you will be thriving. The relationship will be thriving. You will get everything you want because you'll be on the same level and this person is destined for you. So that's what's happening. Prepare for that. I hope you enjoyed the reading. My dear viewers, do give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you think. And don't forget to see the video all the way to the end in support of me only if you want to support me, if you enjoy what I do. And please subscribe to my channel. It's absolutely free and it helps me big time. So again, your support will be very much appreciated. I'm, I'm in gratitude for each and every one of you being here and writing and letting me know what you think and supporting me in this channel. Thank you all for being here. I wish you abundance of blessings in everything you do. And remember, no matter how sad it may be that you're leaving something you love or someone that you love, but you're destined for something much better. Someone that will give you that which your heart desires, what, what your heart longs for. And if it's endurance or long term, so that's what you're getting. Because we've got agreements and we've got churches here. We're talking about marriage. We're talking about wanting, you know, the, the real deal. And we're talking about also, don't forget, we're talking about the greatest gift from the heavens and the greatest love of all. It's coming. And it's going to be long term. There's going to be trust and there's going to be forever. That's what's coming. So important for you to know that. Someone who is on the same level as you. Someone wonderful that will give you exactly what you want. So despite of where you are today, things are changing and you're getting your dream. And that is the end of your reading. I wish you a lot of love and light and abundance of blessings. Namaste.